yeah so all that was done using google's vo3 and in this video i want to share my experience of google's vo3 and i'll share some pro tips that i found out so that you don't burn through your credits so ensure you watch the entire video so google recently launched vo3 which is its latest ai video generation model and it is a true game changer and has been driving the internet absolutely insane and why it is a true game changer is because it offers native audio output like the generated clips that you're getting are going to have sounds in the background they're going to have uh, environmental sounds they're even going to have people talking and all these you're going to direct via your prompt so let's start with how to access it it's available in about 72 countries so if you go to this flow faq page i'm going to leave the link in the description down below you can be able to see the countries where it's available yeah so you can check there whether you'll be able to access it from your country yeah so if it's available in your country you're going to need to go to the google ai membership page and you're going to need to either have the google ai pro account or have the google ai ultra account so for both of those you're going to be able to access vo3 and they also have uh, some free trials which you can decide uh, to start with so if you're going to use the google ai pro account you're going to have a thousand monthly ai credits so if you have a thousand monthly credits then that means you're only going to have 10 generations because one generation will cost you about 100 credits if you're going to take um the google ai ultra account then you have about 12,000 monthly credits it's going to allow you to have more generations so once you sign up to your account then you can start creating with flow so you have this sort of dashboard here so when you want to start creating all you have to do is click on where it says new project so that is going to allow you to start creating you can create text to video so you can uh, put in your prompt and then you can get a video out of that that. you can also create via frames to video so that is maybe you have a starting frame and an ending frame and now you can just uh, maybe put in your prompt to have the transition for that and you also have ingredients to video so the ingredients to video feature you can only access it if you're in the google ai ultra account so to create using the text to video all you have to do is put in your prompt and because we've talked about not burning through your credits you want to ensure that before you begin you know exactly what what you want to create and also you're familiar with how to create prompts so one resource that you can use to show you how to create your prompts is this article by google so it is like the basics for writing prompts yeah so you can see the following elements should be included in your prompt so we have subject context uh action style camera motion composition ambience and we also have some examples of prompts and the generated output so you can look at them you have the man on the phone so you have the prompt the generated output and the analysis in the second example you can see that the prompt is a bit longer here and the output uh, also shows you a more detailed prompt result yeah so you can be able to see that with more details in your prompt then you're going to get better outputs so now having this in mind what we want to have our prompting so i'm just going to copy this i'm then going to go to chat gpt to ask it to create the prompts for us so i just copied this and then i went to chat gpt and i told it i need you to create at least five vo3 prompts to create AI generated videos the prompts should try to recreate the bible story of jonah being swallowed by the whale so the prompts should create a scene at a time since the videos are eight seconds are long and then i also asked it to include audio sounds and then i pasted in what we've gotten from the google article that the following elements should be included in our prompt and then i entered that yeah and you can see chat gpt now gives me five prompts that i can use to create our videos with so if i look at this first one it says jonah runs from god's command and we have the subject the context the action just as we had directed it to do and then we have the second prompt this is the storm at sea the third one the fourth one and the fifth one so i'm going to copy this first prompt here and then i'm going to go back to flow and i'm going to paste it here in our prompt section yeah so ensure that you're in the text to video and then very important you want to go to the settings here and you want to change the model to vo3 the highest quality now this is very important because if you don't do this it might default uh, to the older vo2 model i also ask it to generate one output per prompt and then you can see it tells me that each generation is going to use 100 credits so i entered that yeah and you can see it generating here yeah and about three minutes later we now have our video here let's have a look at it
yeah so that was really nice you can see jonah running i also like the background music and i like how uh the scene is fast paced so for our first prompt we can see that uh we've gotten a pretty neat output here and by the way if you're enjoying the video ensure you like it and subscribe to the channel i really do appreciate all the love and support let's continue so in case you're not satisfied with your output then you can ask it to generate again but if you're satisfied with your output then you can go to the scene builder and how to do that is clicking on the add to scene here yeah and now you can see we have the scene builder open so we are going to add in some new scenes onto this so how to do that is just click on this plus sign here and then you can decide whether you want to use the jump to or the extend so because i just want this to be a fast paced cut or just jumping to the next scene i'm going to use the jump to and then i'm going to copy my prompt from chat gpt and then i'm going to paste it in the prompt area here yeah and now uh, my scene is ready to be generated so just enter that yeah and you can see it generating and about three minutes later now we have our second scene let's have a look at it yeah so it's not uh very clear but i mean it's ai so i'm just going to go with this one here but you can go back to your prompt and you can ask it to refine it more just so that you're able to get a better video from that so now i can go to creating maybe a third scene for this using my third prompt yeah but then now when i went to the third prompt i realized that none of these prompts had um any dialogue so i decided to ask chat gpt to modify the third prompt so that we have some dialogue in it so that maybe our output can have some dialogue in it so i ask it could you have a dialogue scene in prompt three okay and you can see what it's generated for me yes yeah, so you can see at some point we have jonah speaking he says throw me over it's the only way i think this is good enough so let's copy this prompt here and then we paste it in our prompt area here Okay, so for this one, we are still uh, using the jump to and then ensure again that you're using the highest model that is the VO3 and then we enter that. Yeah, so again, after about three minutes, this is what we got. Yeah, so Jonah is not speaking here, even though we asked the prompt to have Jonah speaking. So I tried that one more time. I just adjusted the prompt a little bit and this is what I got. Yeah, so for that one, there was completely no audio. And then I tried it um, a third time. And this time I actually used extend just for it to maybe just extend the shot. And then it told me that it was switching me to a compatible model for this feature. And then it said submit again to confirm or check settings for details. Okay, so I went to the FAQ section and this is what it says. It says that note that VO3 is not yet compatible with fast plus last frame camera controls extend or ingredients to video capabilities so that would maybe explain why when i tried the extend um feature i was not able to get through so i went back to the jump to feature and i generated the video yeah so again we can see that the gentleman is clearly speaking but then we did not get um audio for that so all in all i think uh vo3 is pretty awesome i think there's some real potential here so once you're done generating then you can export each of the scenes separately yeah so even though the dialogue feature did not work in this particular example i had tried it earlier and this is what i got that was all made by ai specifically google's veo3 and i'll show you how so that is google's veo3 let me know what you thought of it in the comments down below if you want to learn how to create more videos using ai ensure you watch the video on the screen and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on more videos like this my name is paris and i'll catch you on the next one